What's up guys and welcome back to another Soda video. In today's video it is time to show you guys players that you should buy for upcoming season La Liga Santander edition. So without talking too much let's get right into the players. Starting off here with Jeremias Ledesma, goalkeeper from uh, Cadiz, who are not the best in La Liga Santander of course, but they are a very uh, decent team. Um, the, the guy has a contract till uh, 2025 and um, I have been looking to pick this guy up myself. Um, and there are a few reasons behind that because this guy is just an insane shot stopper because in games where he doesn't keep a clean sheet he still um, is is capable of getting the of getting like a 60 score which is just incredible for example games uh, for a game against Villarreal where they lost 2-0 managed to get 62.5 same with the 2-2 against Getafe 63 um, so this guy is just an amazing shot stopper amazing goalkeeper I've seen a few games of him um, last season as well and he, he's just always on the right place somehow um, he doesn't make make mistakes very often the only thing that is uh, a bit mad about him is the the team he plays for he plays for Cadiz and sometimes they just have a, a really really bad game where where they concede the loads and loads of goals but I mean I think that's just with uh, with every goalkeeper and I think the upside of this guy is really really high because the moment he uh, he gets a clean sheet you're looking at a, a, a almost an 80 score minimum so this guy is just a very very solid shot stopper and I think for his price 25 euros for a solid starting goalkeeper who has had 12 clean sheets and one penalty save in um, in last uh, season so that's a one in three clean sheet record is very very solid I think rare wise also a solid goal, a goalkeeper for, for either champion Europe all-star and maybe even a cap to 40 if you can manage to fit him in so all in all I think this guy is a solid solid option for you guys then on to the first defender on this list here where we have Gaia from Valencia uh, who had um, a very very awful season they were fighting for uh, for relegation really really hard but Gaia the captain of the team um, really carried them a little bit if we look at his scores beginning of the season it was absolutely incredible um, it was scoring loads of, of 80s and 60s like doing a lot of defensive work um, and then if you look uh, during uh, the end of the season he he, like his scores went down a little bit, a little bit but I think um, Valencia were just playing really really bad and then during the last four games of the season he's yeah, like he managed to get his form back um, winning against uh, Ma uh, Madrid being very very um, very very good against Espanyol with a with a, I think a goal and clearance and an assist which is just incredible for him and this guy has has, has kept Valencia in uh, La Liga so I expect him for upcoming season to do the same, maybe do even better and I expect Valencia to get a lot of uh, reinforcements so hopefully uh, Gaia can um, can get some better scores in. Worth around 9 euros limited wise for a solid solid defender, he's coming into his prime right now and I think his rare is a bit undervalued as well for the scores he gets. Then on to the first centre back of this list, we got Unai Nunez here from Celta de Vigo. Um, I think he was on loan from Bilbao if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure about this, but um, he has a contract till 20, 2024 at Celta de Vigo. And as you guys can see, this guy was very, very consistent for them, doing really, really well. Um, 55 on average um, when he started. Even when Celta de Vigo went on a bad streak, he still had a few very, very solid games, scoring 80s and 90s, and um, which is just what you want in a defender. Um, so if Celta do well upcoming season, I, th uh, I can see this guy scoring... 70s and 80s on the on the the regular he's uh only 26 years old he's a very he's still very young and i think he's a very very cheap option for for the for the amount of scores he gets um so i think it's a definite 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 worth <laughs> it's i think it's definitely worth to have a, a look at this guy then on to andreas christensen of course we all know him send back from barcelona uh they had a lot a lot of clean sheets uh, uh last season and this guy was very very um uh, solid when he played the only thing with this guy is he is a bit injury prone but when he plays in La Liga he averages 58.7 which is uh, incredible gets loads of loads of good scores because he plays at a top top team um, the only thing with this guy is uh, Barcelona have bought in Inigo Martinez of course um, they still have Vacunde they still have Araujo so I don't know how uh, how many minutes this guy will get but I just know if this guy will be a starter at Barcelona he will do really really well so um, I think might be worth a pick up the moment this guy is a definite star at Barcelona. It's a it's a very very solid pick up. Then on to Yuri Berice from Athletic Club de Bilbao, 
who is a very very cheap option on this list and I think for his scores you can't really go wrong with him I think this guy is uh, is perfect for like a cap to 70 uh, maybe even a cap to 40 because he just scores solid solid 70s there are no no big big spikes uh, big big spikes there but he's just an incredible um, inc incredible consistent player um, you can he's very very uh, reliable and I think for two euros limited and 30 or to 30 to 40 euros uh, for his rare is just um, very very solid um, he also will uh, will have midweek utility because Atleti Club um, ended eighth in uh, La Liga, but because Osasuna has been suspended from Conference League, if I'm not mistaken, or Europa League, um, Atleti Club will now get their uh, European spot into the Conference, if, if I'm not mistaken. So Atleti Club will now have some midweek utility as well, and I think that makes Yuri very, very uh, interesting. Then another option here from Atleti Club, who is very, very interesting, is Jarai. Um, 28 year old uh, contract till 2026 and his scores for Atletico Club have been amazing um, only the, the end of the season um, he didn't play too well but I think he was fighting with a bit of injuries but he has shown um, a few weeks before that that he um, knows how to score really really well only thing with this guy is he is a bit injury uh, injury prone he has not gone any season without getting a DMPs here uh, here or there but the the upside of this guy is he is incredibly cheap. You can pick him up for uh, for less than three euros, and um, I would say sixty to seventy euros for his rare, which is a solid solid guy. And I think especially during during the beginning of upcoming season for cap to forty, this will be a cheat code. Um, so yeah, I think uh, same as uh, Yuri as well. Midweek uh, utility with this guy, I think it will be a solid solid pickup for upcoming season. Then on to Gonzalo Escalante, the first midfielder on this list. Um, this guy has recently signed a contract with Cadiz till 2025. He was on loan from, I want to say Lazio, if I'm not mistaken. And um, in that half, uh, yeah, in the in the in the second half year um, of the season, he played for Cadiz, and I can tell you he did incredibly well, scoring 58.2 um, on average with getting insanely high peaks and. This guy is just a baller. Uh, he knows how to score. He knows how to give. Uh, he knows how to give assists. He knows how to get some um, incredible AA in, and he's just a solid, solid player at 30 years old. As some of you guys may know, I've recently picked up his super as well because of his insane high spikes, and I think this guy will do very, very well for Cadiz because since this guy came into the Cadiz side, Cadiz were um, a, a bit better, a, a way better team, actually getting more points and more wins in. So hopefully this guy can carry them again upcoming season. And I think his limited and rare price are very, very undervalued for the stuff I have seen. So if you guys want to take a little risk um, with me and with this guy, I would for sure pick up Gonzalo Escalante. Then on to one of the best midfielders in La Liga from last season. Uh, we got here Alex Garcia was the highest uh, chances creating player in the league, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he had an injury during the end of the season, but so if we take that away and only only look at the starts, this guy, 62.5 on average, which, which is incredible. Um, and there are also a few games in where he was strugg uh, struggling with his injury, where he got sub uh, subbed off after 45 minutes and even after 12 minutes. So this guy with one goal and five assists for Girona was a really, really solid player in midfield. He has recently signed a new contract till 2026, um, which is absolutely amazing. And I think this guy will um, will stay one more season at Girona, just ball out, and then will probably make a decent transfer. Uh, 15 euros for, for his limited for a guy who knows how to score really, really uh, well is, uh, in my opinion, way too uh, too cheap. His rare price has been going up a little bit, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, for, for, for around 200 euros, uh, euros, you can pick up a very good um, rare midfielder. And this guy for Girona has just, has just been amazing. So I expect loads of big stuff from this guy, and I expect him. I expect him to make a, a decent transfer uh, at the end of the season. Then on to a very very old guy. I think everyone knows this guy, David Silva, uh, 37 years old, has uh, one more year left on his contract at uh, Sociedad. But I think this guy has shown this season that he still has the quality, and I think this guy, if you use him in the right game weeks, he can peak for you, um, and especially during the end of the season, this guy was incredibly in form. Uh, getting a 98 pointer against Madrid, a 90 pointer against Elche, getting assists in, getting uh, AA in, and I think this guy can still uh, can still get get you some nice scores for one season, and 
Of course, because of because all because of his age, his price is a bit down. But I think it might be worth a punt, uh, punt using him against uh, the very um, lower teams upcoming season because he's a very very solid player and uh, Sociedad are just a solid team who, who will probably finish in the top six again. So um, might be worth taking a punt with David Silva. Then on to Kang In Lee, um, under 23 for two more years, um, midfielder from Mallorca, and um, this guy has shown. Um, to have incredible peaks and um, for Mallorca he's been doing alright averaging 52.1 um, for uh, in La Liga for Mallorca uh, the only thing is he had a bit of a, of a shit streak when Mallorca wasn't doing too well and the moment this guy doesn't get any decisives in it's like a bit of a problem but the, uh, the upside is he can play everywhere he can, uh, he, this guy can play striker, centre mid, left mid, right mid so um, he will play most of the minutes um, when he is completely fit, which is a very very good upside. Uh, he's also very young, and I expect him to have this uh, to have a breakout season with loads and loads of assists. I expect him to go to like ten goals, ten assists, something like that upcoming season because I really think he uh, he has the potential as long as he stays fit, of course. Um, and I think for Mallorca, I think they will they will uh, they will have a lot of fun with him. And looking at at their starting fixtures, it's it's looking very decent for them. So. If if he can can start uh, start off really really well, I can see him um, scoring um, very very well upcoming season. Then on to Dani Parejo, I think it's kind of the same story like uh, David Silva. He is known to score really really well. He has one more year on his contract at Villarreal, and if you want to take a risk uh, with his age, with a guy who knows how to score really really well, be my guest. He's um, really cheap for the amount of scores he gets. During the end of the season, he uh, he let us a bit down. But I, th I still think this guy can can uh, show some amazing scores upcoming season. I, I want to say he's the captain of the team, but I'm not too sure saying that. And also for his rare, is is just a very, very cheap option for champion Europe because this guy knows how to score well. Only thing is one more year on his contract. Nobody knows what will happen after that. So we will have to wait and see um, with him. But I think it's a very, very solid player and I think everyone, uh, everybody knows him already. Then onto another midfielder here, we got Mikel Merino from Sociedad, from Sociedad as well, contract till 2025, and mm, this guy's uh, this guy's scores this year has been a bit, or like have been a bit all over the place. But when you filter it to um, only starters a a in La Liga, he scores 57.6 on average, which is pretty pretty decent. Um, and this guy is 80 plus capable, which is very very solid. Especially with his two goals and nine assists, uh, this guy has shown to be a very, very solid player, getting loads and loads of decisives in for Sociedad, and I expect him to do, uh, to do the same upcoming season. He's now in his age where um, he really has to show what he is worth, so he's uh, kind of coming into his prime, I, I I would assume, and I think this guy will absolutely bow out next season, and I think uh, we will see like Alex Garcia kind of scores. So if you wanna if you wanna get this guy for under 10 euros limited, it's just a solid, solid price. And I think his rare is very undervalued uh, for the amount of scores he can and probably will get upcoming season. Then on to, to the, uh, then on to the strikers on this list. I got three starting off here with Joselu, who was recently signed for Real Madrid, of course, after Benzema leaving. And this guy last year has scored 90 goals and two assists in La Liga. Uh, I mean, 16 goals and two assists in La Liga. He uh, he also um, got called up for Spain for the first time ever. I'm pretty sure at 33 years old. And he scored there as well in his first game. And this guy at, at the Real Madrid will absolutely ball out. He scored 16 goals and two of uh, yeah, he scored 16 goals and got two assists in a relegated um, Espanol team. So I can only imagine that um, with the link up with Vini and uh, Rodri, this guy will absolutely score a lot at uh, Real Madrid. Of course, we never know. It uh, we will have to wait and see. But I expect this guy to do very very well. And I think for his price might be worth getting him, uh, getting him up because I think he's really, really cheap and this guy is La Liga Santander proven. Then on to Diego Lopez, um, 21-year-old from uh, Valencia. He, he only has a contract till 2023 because I'm pretty sure, if I want to say that he was on loan, but I'm not too sure about that, to be honest. But this guy, during the end of the season, he became a starter for the for five, six games and he did really, really well uh, getting four decisives in that. So I think this guy is a really, really bright future, as long as this guy stays in uh, in uh, La Liga. And if you are into under 23, I, I would say 
um, do some research uh, research on this guy because I think he has a very very bright future ahead of him. As long as he gets um, the uh, as long as he gets a chance in the starting eleven because once he started in the starting eleven he he absolutely balled out. I think he was injured for a long uh, for a long period of time of the season as well. But um, if he gets a starting spot in any La Liga team, I think he will absolutely do bits. Then on to the last player on this list is Viktor Tsigankov uh, from Girona as well. And this guy was on fire during the end period of the season. Um, scoring 58.5 on average. Um, and I think this guy is a very, very good player for La Liga. Knows how to get the decisives in. And uh, sometimes knows how to peak really, really uh, high. Getting a 90 score here, a 96 an 88 score which is just incredible eight goals eight assists and one uh, penalty kick one this season is just very 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 good getting 17 decisives in total um and i think with this guy um him with alex garcia together it's just an insane combination so if you want to take a little risk there with uh, and getting like a, uh, a girona uh, small stack um alex garcia and Zigankov are your guys and i think we will see a lot of um a lot of great great games here from Z uh, from Zigankov upcoming season he's only 25 years old with a, with i think a decent contract at girona as well because he just signed if i'm not mistaken and looking at their opening fixtures it's looking pretty decent with the getafe and the las palmas so i expect him and especially girona to do really really well this season so guys, this was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys want to see more leaks for this series, make sure to put them down in the comments. And yeah, for now, I want to thank you guys for, uh, for watching. Um, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace.